Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be replacing attributes because they are messy. So we are replacing attributes with tables. We're going to be making a new module. I'm also going to be doing this for my Jojo series or any new series. Okay, let's make this a new combat table or something. I'm renaming this to T and let's make a function to put in every single NPC inside of this table. For I NPC or for IC in Paris with these cat children to let's make a humanoid variable local humanoid equals C find the first child child humanoid this is going to be checking if the humanoid exists inside of the NPC if humanoid, then let's change it to H. T. And let's put in C. Equals table. And this is going to be the properties. First property, stand false. Blocking false. Attacking false. Attacking false. That's all I'm pretty sure. Now let's do this for the players because in here, this is for the NPCs. It's going to check for the children inside the workspace, but the player hasn't joined yet and the script will not refresh. So we need to make an event for when players are joining. Game, the players, the player added, connect function. P for player, P dot character added connect function C table C and let's put in the properties stand false attacking false blocking false. This way I can create new values while being organized, unlike attributes. I just create the attribute instead of the model and then it gets destroyed and then it gets added again and then it gets destroyed it's not organized with this it's organized all right now let's remove the character from the table if it's died or it's destroyed p the character removing connect function And let's um, T C equals nil, removing a character from the table. This table will be filled with NPCs and characters, and inside of the character or NPC will be values like this. We can add more values if we want. Now let's do the same for the NPCs. Workspace dot child removed connect function child print child let me test something out let's delete an npc and let's see what it prints out Oh, it's supposed to be child removed. See, it prints out the object that gets deleted. So we can check if it's a character or not. Local age equals C find for child humanoid. And let's see if there is an error. And um, H. Okay, there's no error, so it works. We can do something like this now. If H, then T, C equals nil. Okay, that's cool. 
but we want to access our character easier so what we're going to do is we're going to set it to the character's name instead of the character instance because if it's going to be the character's instance it's going to be cryptic in the combat table look at this see it's going to be cryptic so that's why we are going to set it to the name instead this it's going to be the player dot name player dot name now it's not cryptic anymore see okay let's make a new value in the combat table it's going to be combo one combo one all right since we've already set a default combo value you don't need this Set combo local combo equals combat table dot character dot combo and it's supposed to be like this index then character combat table let's do this character b character value cv we're going to put in the character value instead of the parameter and then we're going to do something like this local combo equals cv dot combo and then cv combo equals combo plus equals one plus equals one okay combo reset character value cv cv dot combo and at cv dot attacking we're basically replacing every single attribute with the table value cv dot combo equals one all right local cv equals combat table player dot name cv dot combo cv dot attacking cv dot stun cv dot blocking cv dot attacking equals true cv dot attacking was nil and attributes and attributes yep that's all and cv now we're also going to be replacing animation that stopped with task dot delay because i don't know i don't want to rely on my animations for the time because if my animations hasn't loaded yet or if my animation isn't playing then the animation will never stop because it's not playing in the first place so we can just do delay instead of animation dot stopped cv yeah this is cool and now let's modify the stun handler because the stun handler uses attributes local cv equals Let's require the compatible require game dot server storage dot modules dot combat table 
as you can see it's that compatible humanoid parent it's name or the player actually OP equals game.players get played from character humanoid parent P dot name C dot stand was it false? Yeah, it was false. C dot stand equals false. C dot stand equals true. Alright, let's see if this works. Let's also make a new pad for stunning. Now, this is going to be for the stun attribute. This is going to be for the attacking, not attribute value. And this is going to be for the blocking value. Let's require the compatible local ct equals require game dot surface storage dot modules dot compatible script dot parent dot touch to connect function hit local humanoid equals hit dot parent on the child humanoid actually let's just do something like this local p yeah, let's do the humanoid again. If you know it, then local p equals game dot players dot get player call on get player from character h dot parent local c equals ct um player dot name oh yeah 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 in the stun service stun handler we should do that too. Where is it? Yep. It's supposed to be. Oh, yeah, I already did that. Yeah. P dot name. And then we're going to set the value. C dot stunt equals true. Script dot stunt destroy. C dot stunt equals false. In 10 in five seconds let's copy it in other scripts okay but in here it's going to be attacking this is going to be blocking let's see if the values truly work Oh, and in the hit surface, we're not going to be using attributes, we're going to be using combat table. Double CT equals required game dot surface storage modules dot combat table. And local C equals local P first equals game dot players get player from character humanoid parent local c if p then else if it's a player then we're going to set the c equals ct p dot name else c equals ct c dot name we can just do something like this if c dot blocking then c dot blocking then any attributes any attributes there we go c dot blocking equals false new attribute Let's see if the values worked first. We're going to check if I can M1 normally or not. No attribute. Let's check if I can M1 normally. Oh. CT.combo equals 1. Plus equals 1. 
this should be one equals one there we go let's see if i can m1 normally it's so fast let's change the delay to 25.25 but it's working though it's working nonetheless let's see if this works okay attempt to index nil with name shimroid parent dot name there we go let's see if this works this should work though an error attempt to index deal with name if p then else we do the same thing There we go. Let's see if this works. Oh. It's working. Okay, let's check the value parts. This is should this should be stunned. Okay, I'm stunned. I can't M1. Okay, attacking. Can I block? I can't. Okay, good, 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 good. Blocking. Alright. Um let me fix something and I'll end this. I don't want to block. I forgot to do some in this block script. Local CT where game for storage and modules dot come to table. CT player dot name dot attacking. CV Yeah, all right. So this should be it for the tutorial. The next video, I'm not sure what the next video will be. Maybe this will be the end of the series, I don't know. Maybe I'll do more effects. But this is it for the video. And uh, thank you for watching. I will be seeing you next time.